Is James Tavernier the best cheap right back on the game? Well, let's find out. Let's dive in to some division rival games and review. But before we do that, let's take a look at his stats. And again, it's very, it's Mr. Consistent. Yeah, I'm to believe this guy's probably going to get a few informs this season, which is just going to make the card even better. But I've stuck a shadow on him, which means his pace is essentially up to it. the mid-90s there. His shooting's good, his passing's good, his dribbling's good, his defending is good, his physical is good. You know, he's English, so he gets a strong link. You know, obviously, well, he gets the strong link with any Rangers player. And obviously, if you need to put him some Premier League players, you, you can do that. Um, but most notable is, I mean, there's no real stat that stands out, but it's just consistent. You know, like his penalties is pretty good. Um, and all that. And he's in club 70, so to speak. There's, I think Goretzka's the only... Well, apart from the icons, he's the only player who's in Club 80, which is all stats above 80, like, but on the base card. But here is the team. We've got Leno and Nets, Ben, Shellwell, Stones, Goldson, Tav, Foden, Bakuna. We're just going all at attack, 4 2 4. We've got Sterling, on loan, Pele. I'll do a player review on him. Ryan Kent, if you haven't checked that one out, check it out. He's, on, he's, he's just the best player in the game. I know we've got Pele alongside him, but oh, fuck, who knows? And then we've got James Forrest. Who I'll also be doing a player review on. I would have done, if there was a Rangers right mid, I'd have done it. But Haji, centre forward. Um, Roof, centre forward. Sakala, centre forward. I mean, you can't, I mean, I wish you could. I mean, it's FIFA 22. Why you can't do a position change to move a centre forward to right mid? Like, oh, like, what is that? Even if you had to pay like 25k, like it was like a special price to do it. I mean, just fuck me, man. Like, I just, why can't you do that? And here is the first team that we're coming up against, and I fear that because it's got a lot of pace, and most importantly, it's got Erling Haaland up front, who's been wreaking havoc in the Arsenal career mode, and uh, he's, he slapped a hunter on him, which is not good. But you know what? I've played three games of this FIFA. I've won all three online. Well, the, the third one you've seen in the Kent review, uh, it, it disconnected me, and it counted as a down, but we're a free one up, so I'm counting that as a win. I mean, FIFA can go fuck themselves. But here we go. Let's see how good Tav and the rest of the, the job squad are. Tav plays through James Forrest. Cuts back. That's fucking shocking. Oh, wait, what, wait, what, why is Kent? He may be the best player in the game, like, but he has to be getting to that. Tav, though, a good bit of play. Link it up there with James Forrest. That wasn't the best of pass. Tavernier son, was it? It wasn't. And we've sent him with Raheem, the dream. And it's over to Pele. And Pele! Oh, I'm sorry. But Pele has to score that. Kent gets the tap in. But you're 91 rated. You're an icon and you, and you can't score there. Oh, but Pele's won it. Pe Pe How can Pele get fucking skint by Fabianski? Pele! Fucking shit bastard. Connor Goldson though with the, the, the sliding fucking tackle for the end the end here. And that is a cruncher for uh, Leonardo Bacuna. And what's up with the Barcelona badge on that kit? It's absolute pish. Look at the fucking neck of that. What windy liquors felt that in with a highlighter? Oh, Pele. Skipping past his man. Promising attack this. See, that's what happens when you're 91 rated, man. You can just fucking do everything and still get the ball, even though he's kind of lost it. But <laughs> Fabianski. And it is 3 2 to this guy. Our team at the back's collapsed, the whole lot of them. And I hate that celebration for him sitting down. Like, you're just shite. Tav gets poleaxed there by Haaland. Um, we've won ourselves a free kick there. Back to Captain Tav. I mean, again, that should be that should be a free kick. But it's no a free kick. Tav goes forward. Stones can't do shit about it. I, someone fix Pelly. I don't get it. Guy's just losing the ball every opportunity. I can't believe how we, we've no got something out of this game, and it's all Pele's fault. Tav played 6.5 in that game. Um, he did hee-haw, really. I mean, he was alright. He was probably one of the better defenders. I mean, 
well, I say one of the better defenders. We've only got four, and he was third worst. So if you look at it like if you look at it from that point of view, <laughs> wasn't that good? Second game of this crock is shite, and uh, we, we come up against this team. He's got Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, we've got Fabinho, Tiag. I mean, it's not really a good team. I mean, a couple of good high-rated players, but I mean, I mean, yes. What we're offering going forward, I mean, Harry Maguire against Pele. I mean, if Pele is that good, you know, and if he scored 400 goals in a fucking match before, I mean, I'm pretty sure he could, he could score 600 against Harry Maguire, so only uh, time will tell here. With Chilwell and fucking Stones, uh, like, stop being windy. Like, oh, fuck this team, shit. Pele, fruit. Oh! It's Pele! Karius has botched it! Pele! Ho oh, ho! That's why you pay the big bucks for the guy. But it's through to Pele again! Penalty! Yes! Pele's got a penalty! But it doesn't matter, because only one guy taking the penalty, and that's Captain Tav. Tavenier, 83 penalties, he steps up, can Tav get a goal to make it 2-0? No, he can't, he misses it! Shoot me. Fuck my life. What's going on here? That's shite. And uh, it's through to Phil Foden. Rankin. Tav going for a wee solo run here. Brilliant for fucking Tav in here. He's still going. Aye, he loses out. I probably should have just passed it, but you know, you're there a wee player if you have to, you have to try something with a big man. Pele skips past his man, it's a penalty. Tav's taking it though. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's Second a time lucky for Tav in here. Oh, goalie goes the right way, but Tav gets it in this time. That's what we're talking about. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Tav. Going on the run of dreams here. Tavenier. Tavenier. James Tavenier. Oh, I had to go in. It was such a run. But he's missed it. Man. Guy's just a god. And it's through to human son. And that's all Ryan Kent. And there we go, guys. Full time whistle. That is the end of Tavenier's time. And this player review. And, uh, not bad, but. Not exactly the rock, you know. Um, Tavernier played. Hey, uh, we stuck him further up front towards him. But he played a seven point one, got himself a goal. So a goal in two games. I mean, he, he should have had a lot more. He should have had a few assists. To be fair, he's kind of been shafted. But ah well, guys. Till next time. I'll date for this week. Tav review.